Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren, and this is your 35 minute leg workout. This is part of our Split Strong 35 program where we are split training specific muscle groups, and today is all about the legs. We're doing squats, deadlifts, lunges. We are gonna hit all those muscle groups in the lower body. It's gonna be one of those legs on fire workouts, but it's gonna be so good. Here's what it looks like. You have three circuits. Each circuit has two to three strength exercises, followed by two, one to two burnout exercises. That's gonna raise your heart rate a little bit and really amp up the fire. I have a couple sets of dumbbells with me here, 15 pounds and 20 pounds. I'll be toggling back and forth with them. And that's it, 35 minutes of legs on fire. Are you ready? Let's get ourselves started with a warm up. So go ahead, feet are gonna start a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. You're gonna take your hands to your hips and you're gonna give me a hip hinge. Stand tall, give me a calf raise, okay? So you're simply pushing the hips back, stand tall, squeeze the glutes, calf raise. So we're hitting that posterior chain, my hamstrings, and then we're gonna push. So hamstring stretch, drive through the glutes and the hips up onto the calves, nice. Getting everything nice and warm. We're gonna give you a nice solid warm up and a nice solid mobility cool down. And then we're gonna do a lot of fun strength training in between. Nice work, give me two more right here just like it. Hinge those hips, push them back. Stand tall, calf raise. Last one, hinge those hips back. Stand tall, give me a calf raise. From here, you're gonna drop the hips into a squat. So now hips go down and up. Knees go out towards those pinky toes. Chest is up, weights in the heels, squat it out. I think I say this in all my leg workouts, but you can always come back to this move right here. This is gonna be your base move today. At any point in time today, you can always just squat it out. Squats are great for everybody, all seasons of life, right? Nice work. We're also gonna move in all directions today. We're gonna go side to side, we're gonna pivot, we're gonna twist. That is really good for strengthening our minds, our muscles, and our knees, everything, moving in all planes. You got four, awesome job. Three, nice work. Two, and one. Step it in, we're gonna go to a lunge. So step your right foot back to a lunge. Lower down, twist, center, stand. Lower, twist, center, one more like that. Lower, twist, center. This time you're gonna lower, lift the front heel, drop the front heel, stand. Lower, calf raise, nice. One more, one more, lower. Calf raise, switch out your legs. Other side, step back. Twist, center, stand, nice work. Lunge, twist, little spinal rotation. One more, just like that. Lunge, twist, center, add the calf raise. Lunge, lift, lower, hello balance, hello core, hello stability, get those wobbles out, right? Nice work, you guys. I'm gonna challenge you today, lift that calf, drop it low. Let's go side to side, lateral tap downs, tap down, center, tap down, center. So pushing the hips back and down, Back and down, nice. We're gonna go front back today, and we're gonna go side to side. This side to side, this is my frontal plane. Front back is my sagittal plane. I'm gonna show you your transverse plane next, a little pivot twist. You got four, nice. Three, awesome job. Two, and last one, bring it back to center. We're gonna do a pivot squat, so pivot, center. Pivot, center. Pivot, so you're stepping back to like a 45 degree angle. Step back to 45, stand tall. Step back to 45, I got a floating hair on my hand. There we go, got rid of it, nice work you guys. Step back, one more just like this. Step back, let's go other side, pivot squat. So pivot back to that 45 degree angle. Like I said, this is your transverse plane. Those pivots and twisting. I like moving in all directions. Good for our mind, good for our bodies. Really good for our knee health. Nice work, awesome job. Two more pivots right here. Pivot back, center, last one, last one. Pivot back, center. Let's go ahead, you're gonna walk out to a high plank, we're gonna open up those hips. So hinge forward, walk out, find a nice high plank. You're gonna step your right foot outside the right hand, dropping my left hip to the ground, easy twist. Opening up those hips, working on that range of mobility for my squats, lunges, nice. Step back, other side, left foot outside, left hand, easy twist. Opening up those hips. Awesome, we're gonna do that one more each way. Step back, step right foot up. Open up those hips, that should feel really good. Nice work. Other side, right here, open up those hips. Nice, step back. From here, you are going to step or jump your feet up to a low squat, hold for five, four, three, two, pop back to plank. Hold for three, 
two, let's hop up. Hold that squat, hold for three. Two, nice, pop back. Again, hold for three. Two, let's hop up, hold that low squat for three. Two, you're gonna do that one more time, hop back, hold that plank for three. Two, last one, pop up, hold that squat for three. Two, let's squat it out, down, up, down, up. Here we go, down, up, down, up. Nice work. Option, give me a calf raise if you wanna add some energy to these squats right here, finishing that warm up. You got it, you got it, nice. Give me five, Woo. four, awesome job. Three, nice work, two, and one. Hope those legs are nice and warm. If not, they are gonna get warm as we travel through this workout. Grab a quick sip of water. Move number one, you're doing each exercise for 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest, okay? Move one, I'm gonna start with one heavy dumbbell. This first circuit is gonna use one dumbbell. I might toggle between 20 and 15. Goblet squats, I'm gonna hold it at my chest. If you have lighter dumbbells, go ahead, front rack or hold two at your side. This is a one and a half goblet squat, so I'm setting up my squat. All the way down, halfway up, down to the top. All the way down, up, down, top. We're gonna increase time under tension, okay? 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. You have three strength moves in this squat circuit. Are you ready to squat with me? Let's start that timer in three, two, here we go, here we go. All the way down, halfway up, down to the top. Nice work, down, half, down, top. These are timed intervals. You get to work at your pace. Focusing on strength right here, nine. Down, up, chest up, eyes up, all the way down, halfway up, down to the top. That time under tension is gonna increase the intensity of the load on my quads. That's the top of my thighs, right? Feel the top of the thighs working right here. Down, half, down, top. Nice work, 10 seconds here. Yes, you can, you got it. Stay with me. Down, up, final, three, two, finish this set right here and you're out. Nice work. I'm gonna go to 15 pounds. You're gonna put that weight in your right hand, okay? You're gonna do a squat. So I squat here, then I front rack, squat. Take it down, squat. So I'm changing the position of my weight, which is gonna change the load, uneven load, okay? Squatting in three, two, let's go. So dumbbell at my side, front rack it, dumbbell at the shoulder, take it down. Side, front. I like to call this an uneven squat, right? Because you only have a dumbbell on one side. It's what we call unilateral training. It's gonna expose, you might have one weaker side. We all have muscular imbalances. We wanna target them in our strength training, right? This is bilateral. I have two feet on the ground, but I only have the load on one side of my body. It's gonna challenge my core strength. Woo, my hip strength. Nice work, you guys. Awesome job, staying at five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, final move. I'm gonna keep this 15 pounder. I'm gonna hold it at my chest like I did for that first move. That pivot squat we did in the warm up. My right leg is gonna pivot. Pivot squat, center squat. Pivot squat, center squat. You're gonna get a lot of squats in here. You're on, in three, two, let's pivot. Pivot squat, center squat. Pivot squat. Center squat, hello squats. Training in all planes, right? This is our transverse plane. Mixing up, adding these pivots and these twists is good for our joints, good for our knees, right? Keeps them healthy. Got to train in all planes. Nice work. Again, if you have lighter weights, you could always hold two weights at your side or at the chest, okay? But one heavy dumbbell like me, you get to decide, it's your workout. The pace you move at is up to you. 10 seconds here, come on, you got this. Woo, legs on fire, do you feel it? Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, shake it out. Those are your three strength moves. We're gonna repeat them, okay? Gonna repeat them, woo. Starting with that one and a half goblet squat. We're gonna do those pivot squats on the other side of the body this time through. Shake out those legs. Get that dumbbell, one or two, up. One and a half squat, in three, two. Here we go, here we go. All the way down, halfway up, down. To the top, down, half, down, top. There's so many variations of a squat you can do, right? I like this one, because it increases my time under tension. Forces different muscles to work. We have reflexes, right? That tend to take over in that down up motion of a squat, tend to explode right out of it. This is what we call holding in the hole. Holding in the hole for a little bit longer forces different muscles to work. 
as you hold in the hole at that bottom. Can I get a small stack of paper under your toes? Can you wiggle your toes for me? Yes? There it is. Five seconds here. Let's go finish. Come on. You got three, two, and one. Nice work. I'm going to drop down to that lighter weight on even squat load, right? So my feet are parallel. I'm going to do one squat at the side, one squat in the front rack position. Feel it out. You can see which one you like better. You can see how it changes the load on the core, the hips, starting at the side. In three, two, here we go, here we go. Squat, squat, nice work. So for me personally, this side feels easier, right? It's gonna be different for everybody, okay? It's good to try training a dumbbell on just one side of the body. Whew. Nice work, awesome job. Because we all have muscles that are stronger than other muscles that tend to take over when we're working out. Okay, doing this single-sided training forces the muscles to work equally. equally. Doesn't allow bigger muscle groups to take over. Cause overtraining and cause injury. You got five seconds here, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one more squat, because you can. There it is, pivot squats. This time the right leg is gonna stay planted, the left foot is gonna step back. Pivot squats. Woo! Heart rate's rising. Legs are a large muscle group. Yes, they are. Require a lot of oxygen. Come on, five seconds. Pivot squat. Stepping that left foot back in three, two. Let's go. Pivot squat. Center squat. Again, your 40 seconds. Stick with my pace or go slower. You decide your workout. I want you to feel successful at the end of this 35 minutes. That's the goal, right? Woo! I'm here to motivate you to cue you, make sure you're using good form, and to keep you inspired, to keep moving. You got this, you got this. We are gonna have that shaky leg feeling at the end of this. A lot of squats right here. Come on, come on. You got it. Nice work, we're going into our burnout exercises next. Who's excited? You're there in five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, nice work, you guys. Two burnout exercises. A lateral squat walk thruster. We'll start with the dumbbell in my right hand. Side, push, side, push. Two lateral squat walks each time you're thrusting. Again, that uneven squat or that uneven load. We'll start with our right. Step into your right in three, two, here we go, here we go. Squat, push, squat, push to the left. Squat, push, inhale down, exhale push. Inhale down, exhale push, down, up. You got this. You can put that other arm out for counterbalance. My shoulder's not doing the work. It's just stabilizing the weight. My hips and my legs drive that weight overhead, yes? You got this. Come on, heart rate's rising. I feel it. Woo, go body weight. 10 seconds, yes you can, stay with me. You got this. Come on, push it, bring it home. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, you guys, dumbbells down. That move we did in the warm up. hold your squat for three seconds, Pop back, hold your plank for three seconds. Pop up, hold your squat for three seconds. Okay? I'm gonna go plank, squat, plank, squat. You're holding each move for three seconds. We're gonna start in the squat. All right? Three, two, hold your squat for three, two, hop back, hold plank for three, two, hop up, hold your plank for three, two, hop back. Nice work. You're just holding here three seconds a piece. You got it. Up. That squat's gotta stay nice and low. You gotta hop back. You can always step back and step up. Keep that butt nice and low, finding a 90-90. Need a hip alignment on that squat. This is meant to burn out. Fatigue those muscles using just your body weight. You got this 10 seconds, yes you can. My legs are feeling it. Yes they are. Woo, you got it, finish. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, woo. Nice work, you guys. Repeat those two burnout moves. I'm gonna grab that 15 pound weight, this time put it in my left hand. We're gonna walk to our left. Two walks, walk, push. It's a walking squat thruster. Moving in that frontal plane, side to side. You got it, Whew, you're on in three, two, here we go. Squat, push, squat, back to the right. Right, push, left, push. This is meant to raise your heart rate. Whew. A power move, right? Nice work, you guys. Push, side, push. Nice work. Awesome job, you guys. Woo! Again, you might notice one side feels easier than the other. You got it. Power through those legs. Push, that's what's driving the dumbbell. Overhead, down, 
up. Come on, what would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Yes, you can. Right here, let's go. Nice, finish, three, two, one more squat and push. Nice work, dumbbell down. Awesome job, last move in circuit one. You ready for it? Three second squat hold, three second plank hold, okay? Rotating back and forth. My challenge, how low can you stay in the legs on the squat? Challenge your mobility, your range of motion. Holding that squat in three, two, let's go there. Hold for three, two, one, hop back, hold three, two, one, hop up, hold three, two, one. Can you get those knees in line with the hip on the squat? Yes, you can always step it instead of jumping it. You got this, nice work you guys. Woo, awesome job. Hold that squat, can I get a small stack of paper under those toes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hop back, you got it, come on. Stay in it, you got this. Woo, legs on fire, do you feel those quads? Top of the thighs, 10 seconds. You're so stinking strong. Hang with me, right here. Woo, final five, four, three, two, and one, you're out, nice work. Walk it off, grab some water, circuit one is done you guys awesome work moving on to circuit two take a nice little break here circuit two Woo. excuse me circuit two we're coming at you with deadlifts lunges and calf raises okay that is a lot of complex movements it's going to be fun so i'm going to start heavy Woo. that first move is going to be a nice double leg deadlift to a calf raise so it looks like this hinging those hips back towards the wall behind me Stand tall, calf raise. I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see. Take a narrow stance. How do I find a narrow stance? Kick your booty, kick your booty. Where your feet fall, that is a narrow stance. I want a nice narrow stance. Dumbbells glide down my legs, hips go back. Stand tall, squeeze, calf raise. Okay, one deadlift, one calf raise. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. You with me? Circuit two, let's go, let's go. Set it up, kick your booty, kick your booty. Where those feet fall, that's where they stay. Narrow stance. You can always take a wider stance if you need to, whatever feels comfortable for you. Dumbbells are close to the body. How do I do that? Roll the shoulders down and back. Turn on your lats. Pretend like you're crushing armpit or oranges in your armpits. You are deadlifting in three, two, let's go. Soft bend in the knees, push the hips back. Stand tall, calf raise. Slow and controlled. This move is slow and controlled. I got two 20 pound dumbbells. I'm going heavy. Challenge yourself right here. Working the hamstrings on the way down. Glutes and hips, calves. Think about the muscles, hamstrings, nice stretch. Power through, nice. I'm driving those hips forward, hips and glutes pull me up. Calf raise, nice work, keep those weights nice and tight to the body. Keep those or oranges crushed in those armpits. 10 seconds here, you got this. Nice work, woo, right there. Finish, five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge. So I'm gonna keep my right foot forward, left foot goes. Reverse lunge, hold, front leg, calf raise, stand tall. Reverse lunge, hold, calf raise, stand tall. Hello calves, we're getting after those calves. You're on, Whew. Roll those shoulders down and back, three, two, here we go, step back, find the lunge, hold, calf raise, set it down, stand tall. Step back, hold, calf raise, set it down, stand tall. Lunge, hold. Calf raise, nice. Right here, working on that balance, that core and that stability. Dropping that back knee straight down towards the ground. Shoulders stay stacked right on top of hips. Woo! Transferring the load from heel to toe to heel and drive. Think about that. Toe, heel, no, I drive through the heel to stand up tall. That front glute stands me up tall. You got this. Final five, four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Ready, because we're gonna do the same thing other side. Oh, I gotta set those weights down. Shake out those wrists. Same thing, step back to lunge, hold, calf raise. Again, that time under tension, right? As you hold that lunge, okay? Grab those weights, 40 seconds. You're on. Left foot forward, right foot back in three, two. Here we go. Lunge, hold, calf raise, stand tall again. You might notice one side feels easier for you than the other side. That's normal. We all have a weak side. You're here to train it, strengthen it, make it stronger, make it better. Woo, that's why we're here. That is why we're here. Stronger, together. Come on, you got this. Step back, hold. Calf raise, hold. Drive tall. 
Think about making a fist with that front butt cheek. Transfer the weight to the heel. Stay on tall drive. These 20s are feeling mighty aggressive right now. Legs are on fire. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, set the dumbbells down. Shake it out, Woo. Shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna repeat that, you guys. That double leg deadlift, stand tall, calf raise, okay? Woo. Hammies, glutes, hips, and calves. You get it all right here. Efficient leg training. Set it up, you're on in three, two, one. Remember, you can kick your booty if you need to. Calf raise, hips go straight back. Drive up and calf raise. This is a slow and controlled movement. Strength training, right? Woo! Find those balance, find that core strength. You got this. Nice work, you guys. Looks really good. Keep working at it. Keep those dumbbells nice and tight to the body. Nice and tight to the body. Awesome job. Stay in it, stay in it. Come on, 10 seconds here. Get that nice stretch through the hamstrings. Stay with me, stay with me. Nice work. Last three, two, and one. Set the weights down. Check it out, check it out. Check it out, check it out. You ready for those lunges? Lunge hold, calf raise. Okay, we're gonna start right leg forward, left leg's gonna go back to lunge. Lunge hold, calf raise. I'm gonna make it through with these 20s. I'm gonna do it. I'm here to work today. I'm here for it. Right leg, steps back. In three, two, let's go. Step back, left leg lift, stand tall. Nice work. Step back to lunge, left leg lift. Nice, stand tall. Nice, step back, calf raise, stand tall. I think I switched my legs, I favor this leg. <laughs> it doesn't matter, because we're gonna hit both of them. You're gonna hit both of them, right? Whoo, time under tension, you got this. Dropping that back knee straight to the ground, shoulders stay stacked over hips. Whew. If that calf raise doesn't feel good for you, you can always take it out, you guys. Just hold that lunge, 10 seconds. Just give me a little hold at the bottom. You got it, stay in this, come on, final five. Four, three, two, and one. Set the weights down, walk it off, shake it out. You got one more time on the lunges. One more time. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Building beautiful, strong legs right here. Other side, right leg forward. Left leg goes back to lunge. Let's knock it out, let's finish it right here. Come on, you with me? You're there, in three, two. Let's go, step back to lunge. Calf raise, yep, this is definitely my harder side. Woo, we all got one. That's what we're here for, make them stronger. Come on, you don't have to do the calf raise. Do what feels good for you. Do your best, forget the rest. That's what you're here for. Wherever you're at in your strength training journey, do your personal best, forget the rest. You showed up today, that's what matters, right? You're working hard today, come on. Yes, you are, woo! You got this. Nice work, you guys. Slow and steady strength training. Come on, 10 seconds. That front leg, it's on fire, I feel it. Come on, finish with me. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo, setting those big 20 pounders down. Rolling out the wrist. Your two burnout moves. Woo, we're gonna keep one dumbbell, one heavy. It's a hinge swing, okay? Hinge, swing, switching hands, okay? Switching hands as I drive through. I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see. Like a kettlebell swing, but with a dumbbell. You're there in three, two, let's go, let's go. Hinge, swing. What I think about here, Standing straight up. One of the biggest mistakes is overarching. You go like this, driving those hips forward. Stand straight up. Think about driving through your heels to stand you straight up. My arm's just a vehicle for moving the weight. My hips and glutes do the work. Those are my power generating muscles. If you're a runner, this one's for you, you guys. This one's for you. Come on, drive through those hips, those glutes. Yes, you can. Woo, it's gonna raise that heart rate naturally too, right? 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go, you got this. Stay in it, stay in it, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, awesome job, you guys. Whew. Second burnout move, okay? Just your body weight, just your body weight. Right leg forward, left leg goes back. Lunge, drive, that's option A. Option B, lunge, calf raise. Whoo, that calf, you ready? Three, two, let's go. Lunge, power drive, lunge, Power drive, give me power. Boom, pull that knee up. Option A right here. Option B, calf. Woo, calf, that's gonna challenge your stability, your balance. Woo, my little tiny calves are on fire. Come on, up, let's go. 40 seconds, each leg once. That's it, you got it. This leg is on fire. My front, right, 
Leg says, I want out. Woo, it should, it should run out. 10 seconds, let's go. Finish it, guys, come on. Up, you got this. Woo, five, four, three, two, one. Holy bananas. That's where you like walk it off and you're like, whoo, that leg is on fire. You should want out of that move. Woo, all right, tie. All right, hand swings. Come on, last time through it, you do it twice. You get a water break after this too. If that's not motivation, I don't know what is. Three, two, let's swing it. Come on, come on. Two moves, 40 seconds of work. Right here, alternating hand switch swings. Then we go power lunge drives. You got this. Yes, you do, stand straight up. Drive through the heels. Drive those hips right to me. Nice work, you guys. Come on, think about, this always helps me. Think about your hips and your glutes actually moving the dumbbell, okay? Your arm is just a vehicle for moving it. The hips and glutes are actually working. You got this. Stay in it, 10 seconds. Come on, come on. So strong. Right here, finish with me. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, set that dumbbell down. You ready? Power lunge drive. I promised you a water break after this, come on. Keep your mind focused, you're working for that water break. Okay, right here. Left leg forward, I'll face you. We're in it, left leg forward, right leg back. Power lunge, or come up to the calf. You tell me, your workout. Three, two, here we go. So lunge, drive, lunge, drive. This is option A. Make it powerful, come on. Boom, add some energy behind that, boom. Option, give me that calf raise. Woo. Calf raise, that adds a whole new dynamic, right? That tiny calf raise adds a whole new dynamic. Hey, there's that sunshine. Yeah, bring that energy, let's go. Come on, I need it. Working for those endorphins. You got this. Ah, that standing leg on fire, is it? Come on, if it's not, you got 10 seconds to find it. Find the fire. Go there, go there, let's go, finish. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Holy bananas, shake it out. That water break, you earned it, grab it. Come on, nice work, you guys. Nice work. All right, you guys, two circuits down and one to go. Here's the good news. Circuit number three looks like this. Two strength exercises, two times through, and then you just have one burnout move we're gonna do for one minute. You in? You with me? I hope so. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell. Again, you can always use two dumbbells. I'm gonna do one and hold it at my chest. Your first move is lateral lunges. We're gonna go just to the right for the first time. So I'm gonna go lateral lunge right, step center, okay? That's your move. 40 seconds starts in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Lunge to the right, stand tall. Lunge to the right, stand tall. Nice work. Lateral lunge, what are we working here? We're working the gluteus medius, okay? That deep outer glute muscle. And then I'm working my inner thighs, right? My inner thighs, my adductors, they gotta work too. These are the small stabilizing muscles that work to hold my body, my pelvic floor, my hips, my glutes together when I do big moves like squats and deadlifts, okay? All of it's important. We put it all together. Come on, 10 seconds here. Yes, you can. Staying on one side the entire time. We'll go second side the next time through. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand tall, nice work. I'm gonna keep this one dumbbell. I'm gonna go back to the goblet squat. Sumo squat, heels in, toes out, okay? Take it down and up. I'm really thinking about pulling those inner thighs together. That sun came out to give us energy to finish that workout, you know that? That's why it's here. Let's go, finish, you're on. In three, two, let's go, take it down and up. Inhale down, exhale stand. As I stand, pulling those inner thighs, my adductors. Your adductor complex is your inner thighs, made up of five muscles, often undertrained and often really weak. Okay, that's why we're hitting them right here. Pull it in, think of those inner thighs. Pull them in, nice work. Woo, you got this, right here, right here. Sumo squats, go heavy if you can. You can always do two dumbbells. You can hold them in between your legs, right? You can hold it down here. Come on, 10 seconds. You got this. Down up. Knees drive out towards those pinky toes. Pull it in. Finish this. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're up. Nice work. Same two moves, you guys. Lateral lunges. We go to the left. Finish this off. Two minutes of work. That's what I'm asking for. Two minutes of work. Come on. Lateral lunges to the left. Sumo squats. Finish big. Those legs are tired, I know. Come on. Stepping to your left in three, two. Let's go. 
bending into that left leg, then driving off it. Think about sending the hips down and back, down and back, and then drive off that bent knee, drive. Boom, powerful movement, okay? Add power. Slow and controlled on the down, explode up. Inhale down, big explosive stand up. You got this, come on. Yes, you can. Circuit number three, bring it home, you guys, bring it home. Keep that chest up, eyes up. Woo, come on, your shirt has a name tag on it, I wanna know what your name is, let's go. 10 seconds, yes, you can. Yes, you can, woo. Bring it home. Last five, four, three, two. Do we do one more? We do, we do. Yes, we do, nice work, you guys. All right, sumo squats for the finish. You choose, you can hold it goblet style, you can hold it between your legs, two weights, one wing. You decide. All right, I'm going one heavy, I got my 20 pounder. We're finishing this, you ready? We are finishing, sumo squats, heels in, toes out, set it up, three, two, let's go. Come on, 40 seconds of work right here. Yes, you can. You got this, heels in, toes out, pull those inner thighs together, pull them in, woo! Nice work, come on, chest up, eyes up. You got it, nice work, come on, final move. Yes, you can, you were made for this. You are so stinking strong. So much stronger than you ever thought. Strong enough to survive a 35 minute leg workout. Come on, come on, woo! You got this, you got this. Right here, going down to our backside for a one minute burnout in 10 seconds. Yes, you can, finish with me. Right here, five, four, three, two. We're gonna do one more because we can. One more rep, one more rep. I'm gonna take this 20 pound weight. Now I'm gonna bring it down to the ground with me. Frog pump is how we finish. You have 30 seconds of frog pumps, okay? It's a glute bridge, but the soles of my feet touch. Really hitting those outer glutes. You're not gonna get as high. You can do this with no dumbbell or add one right here. And then you're just gonna hold for 30 seconds. That's how we finish. Are you ready? 30 seconds. In three, two, let's go. You're lifting for 30 seconds. Down up, down up, come on. You got this. Yes, there it is, nice work. Woo. Okay, you're gonna hold it up for 30 seconds to finish. Come on. Yes, you can. Do you feel those outer glutes working? You can always take a standard glute bridge if that feels better for you. I feel every muscle in my lower body shaking right now. Do you? Hover, lift. Don't let those glutes hit the ground. Just hover, hover, lift. Come on, hover, lift. Yes, you can. You're here for five, four, three, two. Hold it high. Just hold it here, 30 seconds. It is gonna burn. This is where you say, holy bananas, I'm giving it everything I have to keep my hips from touching the ground right now. Yes, I can, yes, I can. Come on, say it, yes, you can. You are strong, you were made for this. Come on, strong glutes support your entire body. This is foundational strength. Yes, you can. Come on, five, four, can you get a little bit higher for the last three, two, and one. Do you see that shake? Nice work, you guys. I am so stinking proud of you for finishing. That 35 minute leg workout is a burner, but guess what? You have some awesome cool down moves that we are gonna go through to stretch it out, okay? Awesome cool down moves is very important after a heavy leg day like this that we stretch it out to decrease muscle soreness, increase mobility, okay? So let's go ahead and start there. Find a nice tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over wrist, hips over knees. And now take those knees a little bit wider. You're gonna get them as wide as you can. We just finished with frog pumps, now we're gonna go into frog pose. You're gonna walk your hands away from your body for as much as is comfortable for you. Opening these hips right here. This move challenges me every time. You're just gonna sit here. Option A, you're gonna hold here and just breathe into this. Option B, you can give me a little movement. So a little shift forward, a little shift back. Ooh, that back shift, hello inner thighs. Little shift forward, little shift back. Mobility is so important, you guys. Stretching, we gotta stay active. You wanna stay injury free. Don't overlook the mobility and stretching portion, okay? Don't tune out, not yet. Really, you worked so hard. You worked those muscles to fatigue. You built up that lactic acid. Let's stretch it out. Let's treat our muscles right. Okay, give me one more hip rock here. Lean forward, lean back, and just hold it here. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Now gently walk those knees back in. Oh, nice work. Roll over onto one side. We're gonna do a nice quad stretch. You're gonna pull the heel towards the glute, tucking your anterior pelvic tilt. So give me a little amp your pelvic tilt basically just means tuck your tailbone towards me, okay? It's gonna increase the intensity of this stretch. Nice work, stretching out those quads. They take a beating with time under tension. So that pulsing squat, that one and a half squat, any time under tension, hello quads. They take a beating, right? Stretch them out right here. Hold for three, two, and one. Nice work. 
Bring it up and over. Let's go other side. Other side, quad stretch, lying on my side. Pull that heel towards the glute. Tuck your tailbone towards me. Nice work. Really, that little tiny tuck of the tailbone makes such a big difference. Stretch through those quads. Highly suggest foam rolling after these workouts. We'll add a foam rolling workout to this soon, so you can check those out. Nice, awesome job. From here, you're gonna bring it on up. You're gonna find a nice butterfly stretch, right? More of those inner thighs that we hit. Pull the soles of your feet together, shoulders go down and back, slightly hinge forward. You can press those elbows into the inner thighs. Nice. And now we gotta hit those hamstrings, right? Those deadlifts that we did, a lot of deadlifts today. You're gonna shoot those legs straight out. Give me a big inhale as you reach up. Tiny exhale, think about pushing your hips back towards that wall behind you, push your hips. Now flex your toes towards your face, push your hips. Hold here, don't collapse, hold here. Push the hips back, flex the toes. Do you feel the calves and the hamstring stretching? Hold for three, two, and now release gently. You can let it all hang heavy as you fold up into a nice long body stretch right here, grabbing your toes if you're capable, stretching through the calves and stretching through the hamstrings. Nice, from here, go ahead, walk your feet in, and you're gonna take a nice forward fold, so that same position, standing. You're gonna walk your hands over to the right side of the body. Nice little spinal twist, hamstring stretch, opening up that posterior chain. Walk your hands over to the other side. Awesome job, you guys, so proud of you for showing up today and working hard. Back to center, bend at the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. When you reach the top, two big shoulder rolls, up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. You crushed this leg workout. So proud of you. Again, this is part of our Split Strong 35 program where we strength train specific muscle groups. Today was all about the legs, but if you want some upper body or full body core conditioning, go ahead, check out more workouts on this page. Have an awesome day, and I look forward to sweating with you again really soon.